all right. Well, uh, after that from Keisha, I mean, <laughs> could you have asked for a, a better transition between you know this speech and and trying to follow that is going to be my uh, not my goal today. So, <laughs> just take that all the way back down. Let's start over fresh, right? I'm doing a little bit different, but uh, there's some there's some thematic elements that are similar, and I also uh, did bring my domino. And fun fact, uh, we actually have the same domino, which is kind of cool. All right, so um, as many of you know, my name is Dale Harris, and um, just for time purposes, I want to keep this under about 10 minutes, maybe under two hours, you know, something like that. Um, it's going to be about how leadership is an unexpected journey, and this kind of takes thematic elements from the movie The Hobbit. Has anybody seen The Hobbit? An unexpected journey, same name, same title, right? So <clears throat> my goal is to overlay uh, our own leadership experiences, uh, kind of give you some, some important uh, things to remember along the way, and uh, talk about how we have crucibles, uh, the journey, or in the becoming very similar to that, and uh, also your support team and how important they are. All right, so without further ado, uh, what you have here on the left is a picture of Smog the dragon uh, from The Hobbit. He is the bad guy. He's the guy who kicked out the dwarves out of their mountain and, and Erebor, and he's taken over. And their crucible is to go and remove him from the castle. And, you know, when you start thinking about um, our crucibles, we don't get to choose them, right? They didn't ask for the dragon to move in, and we don't get to ask for these crucibles in our life. And you know, I joined the army a long time ago, and, uh, you know, this was the day that my daughter was three months old, my first kid, and um, that day was the day I left for a 12-month deployment. So now, this was my last moment looking into her eyes, and then I had to leave, and that was, it was really hard, and, and you don't get to pick those crucibles. You don't get to choose what sacrifices you make sometimes, and when you start thinking about sacrifice. I've always told my wife, we sacrifice now for the greater good later. And if you choose to take on the mantle of leadership, you will have to sacrifice at some point. And these crucibles that come can either choose to make you better, or you can choose to sour over them and kind of, uh, you know, go through some issues with that. So I would encourage you to choose success, choose to go through those crucibles in a positive way and, and metabolize those for better. Okay. So for our next topic, we have a picture of <laughs> the, uh, the, the final scene of, of The Hobbit, and, and they get to their destination where uh, they, they, they look out and they see that they've done a whole entire movie, and there's no dragon kicked out of their castle, and they've got all that distance between them, and they have to go way over here. So in life, even if we pick a destination, the journey, right? If we pick a destination, we still may not uh, actually have that moment for a long time. So when you choose that goal, when you choose to go somewhere, I would encourage you to think about how the journey can make you a better person. And, and to illustrate that further, here we are today at our MBA program finale, right? Congratulations. Today is the day we get to put on the final presentation and we get to say, I'm finished. But was it really about today? Was it really about the, the moment we showed up this morning and had coffee and donuts? It was about all the experiences in between the start of the program and the end of the program. All of the storming and norming, performing, all of the ups and downs and the late nights and the, the, the coffee and the meetings in random places and, and studying hard. That's what it truly was about. That's what made you better, not the destination, not today but the entire in-between period. And, and I like to think of it like a tapestry, right? Every time we make a choice, we are weaving a tapestry behind us, kind of like the boat in the wake a picture you guys can see in your head. This tapestry, every time we make a choice, we're weaving an indelible thread into this tapestry, and we get to say, that's what we did. Whether it's good or bad, that's what we did. And so now you can use that and say, hey, everybody else, I made a mistake, and here it is on my tapestry. I want to show you this, and so you can learn from it. Or you can show your kids and say, you know what, I'm proud of what I've done in my life, and here's what it looks like. So you can make a choice on what your tapestry says. And, and I always tell my kids, if you don't like, if you're not proud of what you've done, then change it. Change your behavior. So be an open system. Listen to the people around you. Listen to your friends, listen to your support team. 
And finally, we have the support team, okay? On the bottom, we have the dwarves, and we have Bilbo, and they, they all have strengths, they all have weaknesses, and they're going through the mountains and going through all these adventures, and then you got little Bilbo who, he wasn't even really, you know, kind of one of the dwarves, but they picked him because he didn't smell like a dwarf, so the dragon wouldn't eat him, and they picked him because he was light on his feet, right? So we are all uniquely made for the journey, and we have a support team around us. Now, when you start considering uh, my support team, I, I have some pictures of my, my army people, right? My support team, the NBA cohort, and then my wife on the right. These are important people in my life. These are my support team. These are the people who I got with the most amount of help from in the hardest of times. Now, I want you to look around to the people in this room. These people were with you during the hard times. Now, my wife and kids couldn't make it today, but I got five of them, so it's like five crucibles. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but I've, 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 I've really got to say that the people around you, when you start looking around and start feeling this kinship with them, and if you didn't, maybe you weren't in the same cohort or whatever, but um, you know, we just felt like we've gone through a lot together. So I would encourage you, when you look at the sum of your life, it's not about the what you did, right? When you show up, when you make an impact, it's not about how much money you made or how much success you have. It's about the people that you had an impact on the most. It's about the people you led, the people you mentored, the people that you helped in their time of need. What are you going to do with all the time to give back to those people? Never forget that where you are is because of those people and always give back to those that need you the most. Thank you.